This tutorial will show you how to create a nice family history keepsake. Once you retrieve a copy of your ancestor's census, instead of just filing it in a drawer or an electronic file, you can make a nice keepsake, frame it and display it on your wall along with your family tree and other keepsakes of your heritage. For demonstration purposes, I placed an electronic frame on the final picture. To complete this tutorial you will need Photoshop Elements 10 or 9. Earlier versions will work, although methods will be slightly different. You will also need an electronic or paper image of a census. You can get this from various web sources, such as Ancestry.com, or if you have access to a public or university library, many offer free access to census data. You also will need a photo of the residence where the subjects of the census lived. If you don't have a picture, the residence may still exist and you could use sources on the internet such as real estate, county assessor, and other search sites to find such a picture. You will also need a photo of family members referenced in the census. This should be a picture taken around the time of the census, or at least taken when the family lived in the residence. If you don't have everyone together in one picture, you could get creative and electronically cut them out of individual pictures and merge them into a composite picture. Open up a new blank file. Name it Census. Make the width 10. Make the height 8. And the resolution 300 pixels per inch. Use the color picker to change the foreground color to 8C5F20. Change the background color to D7A866. Choose the gradient tool by pressing the G key. Make sure the foreground to background option is chosen. While holding down the shift key, drag from the bottom of the screen to the top and then let go. Double click the background layer. Rename it BG. Insert your census layer by choosing File, Place, then point to your census picture and insert it. Using the Move tool, shrink and adjust the picture. Click the Commit check mark when adjusted. Name it Census Ridge by double clicking on the layer's original name. Select the Straighten tool. Uncheck the Rotate All Layers box. Place the mouse over the far left end of the line. Then while holding down the left mouse key, drag to the right end of the line and let go of the mouse key when lined up. Press the M key to select the rectangular marquee tool. Drag around the edges of the census as shown. This will help remove some of the dirty edges and square up the picture. Then create a new layer from the selection by pressing the control key on the PC or command key on the Mac, plus the J key. Name the new layer Census Crop. Then drag the Census Original layer to the bottom of the layer stack and turn off its visibility by clicking off its eye. Select the Census Crop layer. Choose Enhance, Adjust Lighting, Shadows and Highlights. Set Height and Shadow to 64% and leave Dark and Highlights alone. Also set midtone contrasts to plus 18%. Use enhance, adjust lighting, brightness and contrast. I set brightness to 12 and contrast to 16. Press the M key to select the rectangular marquee tool. Drag around the upper portion of the census. The bottom of the selection should be one or two rows below the column headings. Then create a new layer from the selection by pressing the control key on the PC or the command key on the Mac plus the J key. Name the new layer Census Top. Turn off the Census Crop Layer visibility. Select the Polygonal Lasso tool. Select an area that will be cut out of the bottom of the Census Top to simulate a scissor cut. When selected, press Delete to remove the cutout, then deselect. 
Select the census crop layer and turn on its visibility. Select the rectangular selection tool. Select the bottom section of the census in which your ancestor appears. You will want the bottom cutout plus the top section previously cut out to take up about a third of the page height. If your subject is right in the middle of the census, you'll need to cut four or five lines above and below it. Create a new layer by pressing the Control key on the PC or the Command key on the Mac, plus the J key. Name it Census Bottom. Add a new layer by pressing Control, Command on the Mac, plus Shift, plus N. Name it Paper Color. Move the Paper Color layer to the top of the layer stack. Turn off visibility of the Census Crop layer, then select the Census Bottom layer. Use the polygonal lasso tool to cut out a simulated scissor cut at the top of the census bottom. Once selected, press delete. Then choose deselect. Move the census bottom and the census top to the bottom of the page, leaving a small empty area between them. Select the paper color layer. Change the foreground color to E7C579 and the background color to EDD193. Now control click the thumbnail for the census bottom layer. While it is still selected, choose the paper color layer. Then choose filter, render, and clouds. Now control click the thumbnail for the census top layer. While it is still selected, Choose the paper color layer, then choose Filter, Render, and Clouds. Select the paper color layer. Choose the blending mode, Multiply. Open up the Levels controls by pressing Control or Command key on the Mac, plus the L key. I adjusted the input levels to 22, 1.00, and 246. Choose the paper color, census top, and census bottom layers by clicking them when holding down the control key. Then right click the highlighted layers and choose merge layers from the drop down menu. Delete the census ridge layer. Choose the paper color layer. Then right click and choose to duplicate the layer. Name the duplicated layer BW. Now move the paper color layer to the top of the layer stack. Select the BW layer. Open up the Convert to Black and White controls by pressing the Alt key or Options key on the Mac plus the Control key or Command key on the Mac plus the B key. Then adjust the red slider so the after image is more white than it was before. Then click OK. Select the paper color layer. Now from the bottom of the layer panel, choose to add a layer mask. Click the white layer mask thumbnail. Choose the brush tool. Set the brush size to 24. Note, layer masks are available in Photoshop Elements 10 and 9. Press the D key to make sure you have black selected as your foreground color. Brush over parts of the census you wish to emphasize, such as your ancestor's name and occupation. If you make a mistake, change the foreground color to white and paint over the mistake to make it disappear. Select the top layer by clicking on the layer thumbnail, not on the white layer mask. Insert the residence picture by choosing Place, then loading the house picture. Adjust the picture by dragging the diagonal handles up towards the center. Remove color from the house picture by pressing Control or the Command key on the Mac, plus the Shift key, plus the U key. To give the house a sepia effect, choose Enhance, Adjust Color, Color Variations. Then click Increase Red, Decrease Blue, and Lighten. Choose Windows, Content, by Type. Type should be Frames. Choose Gold Frame Number 1. 
The frames are pretty much alphabetical, so you should find it in the G's. Drag the frame onto the canvas. Adjust the frame so the white inside area is approximately the size of your house picture. Select the house layer. Now drag the house thumbnail into the frame. Use the slider on the top of the frame for adjustments. Now close the content panel. Insert your family picture by choosing place, then opening your family picture. Move and adjust the picture to size. Use the diagonal handles to adjust the picture to your liking. To make a sepia effect on the family picture, choose Enhance, Adjust Colors, Color Variation. Click OK to simplify the layer. Then click Increase Red, Decrease Blue, and Lighten. Choose the Polygonal Selection tool and make sure that Feather is 3 pixels and Anti-Alias is turned on. To save time, I have traced around the picture using the Polygonal Selection tool. Now that the family members are selected, Press Shift plus Control or Command key on the Mac plus the I key to inverse the selection. Then press Delete to remove the picture background. Then press Control or the Command key on the Mac plus the D key to deselect. Drag the family layer down below the BW layer. Now move the family picture a little bit down below the census. While the family layer is still selected, change the opacity to 61%. Select the gold frame, paper color, black and white, and family picture layers while holding down the control key. Make sure your move tool is selected. Now adjust, center, and shrink the picture. We'll need to leave room for the corner art to be placed next. Select the gold frame layer, then select File and Place, and then choose the top left corner art. Click Place to place it on the canvas, then drag it to the top left corner. Do the same with the other three corners respectively. You may choose not to use corners, or you can use your own. I will provide a link to the upper left corner on the description page. Once you have it, you can rotate it to various positions and use it for all four corners. Once all four have been placed in the corners, select their individual layers and adjust them using the Move tool with the up, down, left, and right keys. Select all four corner layers while holding down the Control key. Then right-click them and choose Merge Layers from the drop-down menu. They now should all be merged into the top layer. While the top layer is still selected, changes opacity to 51%. This concludes the tutorial section of this video. Specific color and lighting adjustments given in this tutorial may vary for you depending on your picture or monitor. Here is the original final picture and five sample alternatives. The variations you can do with this concept are only limited by your imagination. For example, you could use many different frames for the residence. Various corner and side decorations could also be used. The background can be a flat color, various colored solid or transparent gradients, or any reasonable pattern. You could put the residence picture in the center instead of on the left. In that case, you could put family members on both sides. For example, put the parents on the left and the children on the right, or whatever seems best for you. If you are crafty, you could do the tutorial and print out the framed house picture, the family picture, and the census picture. Then get some scissors, paste, and paint, and then make yourself a nice keepsake. Please comment with suggestions, problems, or ideas that others might use. Thank you for watching.